sure sign of a good time. The just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. This is the Coach's Scouting Report, featuring Coach Rick Venturi on 101sports.com. Welcome into 101sports.com. Zach and the coach, Zach McCright, Rick Venturi, 27-year NFL coaching veteran. Time for the scouting report. Rams, Giants, Monday Night Football coach. First on the defensive side, I know the big thing, the number one thing that you wrote down, you were telling me this week, you got to prevent the big play. Right. This will be a game of who gets the big plays. And the first thing the Rams defense has to do is draw a circle around Ahmad Bradshaw, and Hakeem Nix. Okay, don't get me wrong. I really respect Jacobs. I respect the rest of their teams. But the two explosive guys, the guys that can make big plays, are Nix. Nix is sneaky fast. He can get on top of you. And I worry about Ahmad Bradshaw because he has a little bit of that LaShawn McCoy. He can take a run. He can cut it back quickly. He can get in and out. And then I worry about him on the passing game. He's a guy they'll run a deep wheel with. They'll run a screen pass. And the Rams are not a real fast defense. They're a sound physical defense, but not real fast. So I worry about the space players. So the first thing you do is you encircle that guy. You, you just put it through your players. They don't get out of the box. Stop the running game. Yeah. This will be about the run, I think, both ways. The Giants, I don't think, can throw the ball well enough. I don't think they can protect well enough if they can't run the ball. And Coughlin believes in the running game. Sure. You're going to see a two-headed monster. You're going to see the big rhino in Jacobs. I mean, he, he looks like a Mack truck coming at you. But I don't fear him as much because I think the Rams can load the box. They are a physical defense. He's not a fast guy. He's going to come right at you. There's, there's nothing. He, he's not subtle. He's coming right at you. And then they got to be really alert for Bradshaw because Bradshaw can take a play to the right, cut it back to the left, make those quick feet. But in the end of the day, you've got to stop the run. You've got to win first down and create long yardage situations where you have a chance to really get after Manning. The Rams were the eighth best on pass defense in week one in the entire National Football League. And the way to do that, uh, and they did it pretty well against Vic, really, all things considered, was blitz. Blitz and then good coverage. What are the keys there? Well, I think you've got two things here. I think and when you get into the coverage games, First of all, the Giants are vulnerable to the Blitz, even more than Philadelphia. I think this Spagnola package is actually better against the Giants because you have basically a stationary quarterback. Manning right. can move a little bit, but certainly nothing like Vic. He's going to throw mostly from the pocket, occasional bootleg. So he's a guy you can blitz and get after. Their offensive line has been decent in terms of man-to-man -man stuff. If I were going to run a game, it would be on deal, the left guard. I think he's the weakest guy. But overall, you can pressure it. Now, when you don't pressure, because you've lost Bartell, you got to be ready to play a little bit of double zone, a little bit of cover two. You got to protect those corners just a little bit when you're not bringing the heat. Let's move it over to the offensive side of the football for the Rams. And first, we just got to you got to run the ball. Tell us how to run the ball. You really have to run the ball, and you have to run the ball not just from the standpoint that you're going to gain as many yards as you did against Philly. Philly, I knew you could gash them. I expect the Giants to be much better on the run. They have big tackles. Tuck's a great left end. Now, the thing about the Giants, though, is I think Jason Pierre-Paul, their right end, is a better pass rusher than he is run defender, as well as Chris Canty, who plays next to him. So I'm going to run the ball a little bit more to my left, either starting right, coming back left. The wrap. Or the wrap plays, the cutbacks, the counters or just sometimes get in and run the lead. Greg Jones, their, their rookie middle linebacker, sixth-round draft choice, playing out of necessity, is really struggling, Zach. So anything you can do to a rookie, misdirection, any wraps, those are things that are very difficult. You've got to force, and I think you'll force it quick, the Giants to get that eighth guy down in the box because that then leads to potential big plays. So you've got to run it enough, even if you're not effective, to make sure you can get the Giants to commit to the eight-man front. That's Coach Rick Venturi. I'm Zach McCray. You can check out more keys to the game for the Rams against the Giants on Monday Night Football on 101sports.com. Just look on the front page. Look for this big, ugly mug right here, and you can get the keys to the game for the Rams against the Giants. Thanks for watching the scouting report on 101sports.com.